my god, King! That's good old fashioned Cola's music! He's coming to the ring! In all seriousness. Uh, oh fuck, I forgot to look up who commented that. I'll be right back. Sorry. Alrighty, back, finally. Uh, well, I mean, it doesn't seem like finally because of the wonderful magic of editing to you people, but it was a couple minutes for me. Uh, 500 bells in interest. Oh, Jesus, what is going on with the sensor bar? My usual setup is not going on right now because I was too lazy to stack everything and move everything. My, my fucking desk is a mess. But anyways, we're finally back here. Uh, don't remember if we ever actually played in wintertime when I was actually a dedicated broadcaster? No, I'm not a fucking broadcaster. I'm not broadcasting this. Uh, uh, YouTuber? I don't like that term. Content creator is probably what YouTube would want me to call myself. But fuck YouTube. Uh, but anyways, I'm back for the time being. As you guys know, I'm John Tron to Electric Boogaloo when it comes to uploading. As the user, and I think he might be a subscriber, I don't know. I don't know how to check those kind of things, because I'm too lazy to learn the ins and outs. And YouTube changes everything. Fucking, it seems like every other day, they fix something that's broken. They break something else in the process. And then they just swap the broken things with each update update that comes out uh but with the username Rizlier, it doesn't look like Rizlier, because the e there's no two e's i don't it's 1 30 in the morning i'm not making any fucking sense but he called me out on my bullshit so i gotta give him a, a virtual high five a virtual knuckle t a knuckle tap knuckle I gotta give him a, a fisticuffs. No, that's a fight. I don't know. Oh shit, I don't even remember. Oh god damn it, ghost man, I don't care. Don't yell at me. Don't tell me how to live my life. Uh But I disappear from, from time to time. Go watch the last video of the original Animal Crossing. Go check out his comment. It's a it's a grand old time. A lot of meme arrows were used. <laughs> Some good old green text. Uh, but I'm sorry I suck. Is essentially what I was trying to get to there. But let's hop into the meat and potatoes. Of the reason why I'm back. I have recently lost control of my life and my savings. By diving headfirst into the world of vinyl collecting as I finally bought a decent enough player, turntable, record player, whatever term you'd like to call it, uh, with half-decent speakers that came with it, and some shitty 90s, 80s? I don't really know what era the fr they're from. Uh, Hand-me-downs from my parents. <clears throat> I've got this kind of ghetto-rigged system going on in my living room space, I guess you could call it. There's a lot of uncertainty in today's video, uh, but I've just been jamming to some Pink Floyd and Sabbath from my grandpa's collection that he gave me, uh, some Front Bottoms and State Champs that I've bought. What, what was I listening to before? Uh, I listened to We Were Dead Before the Ship Even Sank by Modest Mouse, and I listened to Homesick by a, a day to remember earlier today. So I've got some decent enough stuff. Today I just bought... I just joined Vinyl Me Please. Also, by the way, uh, before I forget about that, uh, I'm getting Flying Lotuses. Cosmo Grammar, I think is what it's called. I don't know, I listened to it because I, I have it digitally. It's one of those albums that I got a long time ago, probably from my work, actually. Uh, if you don't know, I work at the library in my area, so I just put fucking CDs upon CDs on reserve, and then I bring them all home, burn them, and then I never listen to them, so... Uh, Flying Lotus was in my back catalog, and I'm really fucking digging it, so I stuck with it, because I want to 
I didn't want to get locked in for three months because they had the Nationals boxer. And I was like, oh, shit, I want that fucking record. That's fucking great. And there was another one that I wanted, too. And I was like, these make me get locked in for three months. And I'm not down to pay $81 right now. Yeah, let me hear it. Darling, I don't think that fits me, but you can call me whatever you want, Francine. I probably won't see you for another four months. Whatever floats your boat. I'm going to tell Stan you're calling me darling. Uh, Vinyl me, please. That's what I was talking about. Uh, but they've done, like, Gorillas and Snoop Dogg and The National, like I said. What else did they do? I think they did Nas one time. And Denzel Curry. But all in all, I'm excited to join that. I'm hoping for some good shit. Yo, fucking Pink Bunny, you see this shit? It's a goddamn ghost. She's just like, wherever the fuck you were, you got a hold of some good shit. That's stupid. Uh, vinyl Obsession. I've covered that. Uh, I'm just treading on old ground here. Old ground of not elaborating on my thoughts. And then falling in pitfalls. Oh, the Cavs are the, the Cavs are going through some kind of bullshit right now, where the NBA is trying to take away our first round pick because we signed Patrick McCaw for like a 48, no, not even 48 hours, like fucking 26 hours and some change. Uh, so if we lose out on Zion Williamson because we wanted to fuck around and sign Patrick McCaw and do God knows what, then. Holy shit, Dan Gilbert, get the fuck out of town. Go back to goddamn Detroit. Buy the lions or the tigers and run them into the ground like you did us. Uh, but I'm very glad. I don't think... I think this was a newer thing that I didn't get to cover in the last video. The fucking king has returned, Della Vadova. I'm hyped for that. I was super fucking excited to have Deli. Uh, now all we need is uh, Anthony Bennett to come back. And we can just have the whole cast of fucking Kings of Cleveland. The, the Mount Rushmore of Cleveland would be Anthony Bennett and Della Vadova and that one guy that might have played here that might have actually, actually been born here. I don't remember his name. He moved to L.A. Couldn't tell you. Uh, Larbin, I think his name was Larbin. But Anthony Bennett actually looks pretty decent in the G League, but I know it's just because he's like 27 and is in the middle of his prime and everybody in the G League is usually around 20 and they're Joe Schmoes that got picked off off the street, so usually they're not professional level. So I'd like to see a team get suckered into taking him. Pre preferably, yeah, preferably us because my King Bennett but anyways enough with the Cavs we gotta talk about two tours that were announced today Dance Gavin Dance is coming around the US with Don Bracco and Thousand Below ah oh, there was somebody else that was really good too I don't remember look it up it's a fucking great tour they're coming here I'm super hyped about it. I'm about to go see him in Cleveland and Columbus because I love Don Bracco and Dance Gavin Dance so much. And then Movement's Trash Boat and Drug Church. Oh, who was the, uh, the fourth band? They were super good. Oh, it's somebody I really like. Oh, well. That's, that's another tour that's around the U.S. this spring. I think it kicks off in, like, late April. Uh... But go to that one too, because Movements and uh, all of them are great bands. I really dug Trash Boats, Crown Shyness, that they just put out this year. Or last year, actually, now. Which uh, actually segues perfectly into my next thing. Uh, should I make a video for my albums of the year for 2018? Would you guys be interested in that? I do a sort of running list 
of recommendations all year long on my personal Twitter. And then at the end, I kind of narrow it down. This Last year, I did 12, I think, because I was just, like, so not willing to knock it down to 10. And then this year, I was just like, there was so many good albums that could have made the list. And I was like, well, I got to keep it to at least a semi-reasonable number. So I dropped it, to, or I bumped it up to 20 from the 12. But had Shelly not convinced me, I probably would have had like a 50, a top 50 album of the year list as a thread on Twitter. So that's what goes, or that, that's what shows you that 2018 was a really good year for music, hip hop and pop punk specifically. Um, but yeah, just comment down below, possibly, maybe I'll make that, I don't know, the semester's starting pretty soon, so it might be one of those fucking videos that take eight years to come out, like most of my videos, actually all of my videos take about eight years to come out, uh, but while I was away, I got really into Pokemon Black, and I made it all the way to the Elite Four, and got my shit pushed in. No matter how many times I tried to fight those motherfuckers. So eventually, instead of being a fucking lunatic and throwing my 3DS against the wall, I just quit. And I said, well, I already know how this game ends. In the end, I end up beating the bad guys and I capture the legendary Pokemon and so on and so forth and what have you. So, fuck it, I'm done. And I haven't picked it back up since. And I even tried to play Black 2. And by that point, I was just so burnt out on Pokemon, I was like, well, I'm done. And now I've just been playing Madden, like, religiously. Because, uh, that segues into my next point perfectly. Everything is tying together so very well today. Uh, my PlayStation 4 is having that issue where it, I don't know if it's overheating, or I don't really understand the issue I've, I've seen a multitude of reasons online as to why it does this but it just shuts off i can sit on the home menu for as long as i want but the moment i boot up a game it lasts it used to last hours then it lasted like half hours then it lasted minutes and now it lasts like 60 seconds so i just unplugged it and i was like i'll call sony if i can get another playstation pro whatever fuck it don't know really why I bought it in the first place. Uh, well, mostly it was for Godzilla and Spider-Man. <laughs> Godzilla, of course, kind of sucked. And Spider-Man I haven't gotten around to playing yet. Probably won't ever, even though I really wanted to because I fucking love Insomniac. They were the ones that made it, right? I'm, like, so exhausted. I can't remember if... I, I want to say they did. Right? They did Sunset Overdrive... Sunset Overdrive's like top five for me on Xbox One games. <laughs> I have so many other games that are better than it, but Sunset Overdrive is a fucking hidden gem if you haven't played it. I think I've said that 85 times just in like the span of this year to people. Uh, but that was pretty much it for today, honestly. I just wanted to say that I'm still alive. I'm still watching the shitty ass calves. And, uh, just trying not to blow too much of my money on, uh, fucking vinyl. Even though I would love to just fucking start pouring money out left and right. Oh, I forgot to say what else I've bought. And, uh, the other day I bought Bring Me the Horizon Sempaternal, Knuckle Puck Shapeshifter, the story so far, what you don't see, and system of a down toxicity. That was a that was a grand old time. I've listened to everything but Bring Me the Horizon. Surprisingly, maybe I'll listen to them tomorrow, just to hear how it sounds. And then today, I've been going really back and forth because I got a fifty dollar gift card on Amazon for Christmas from one of my aunts, and. So I was like, at first, it was before I even got the turntable, so I was like, fuck, what the fuck am I going to buy with this? I don't really know what I'm going to buy. So then I got the turntable, and then I started to get into vinyl. Like, I have, I had a semi-big collection before, but I never listened to it. It was just more like a kind of like, ooh, look, I'm a hipster. I have fucking records. 
Uh, but what was I? What was I saying? Uh, once I got the nice turntable or the semi-decent turntable, I can't say that it's nice. Shut up. Um. Oh, that's right. I was supposed to be looking for his lamp. Well, I gotta be honest, motherfucker. I haven't found it anywhere. And I actually have been looking. I mean, not like looking, looking, but I've been moving around. That's better than I can say for my real life counterpart. I did not want to pick that up. Uh. Yo, yo, yo. Oh, so I started out. I ordered Lincoln Park's Hybrid Theory, My Chemical Romance, Three Cheers for Sweet Revenge, and Cage the Elephant's Thank You, Happy Birthday. Because I was like, oh, fuck yeah. And I got Three Cheers on a deal. It was like six bucks. After it had been like seventeen dollars, so I was like, "Ooh, I'm hopping on that shit." Ended up changing my mind. Uh, switched my order to Trophy Eyes, The American Dream, and two other records that I can't remember off the top of my head right now. Ended up canceling that after I discovered that Amazon has a fucking warehouse section where you can get used stuff, like barely opened bullshit. Like they took the cellophane off, so Amazon has to sell it as used. Uh, and so I grabbed Front Bottoms Going Gray, Gray Scales, ah, what, I don't know what the fucking album's called, but it's really good. It's the one with Let It Rain on it. I feel like a fucking asshole, because I don't know what it's called. Uh, what was the third album that I got? Piss, I don't know. Oh, Gorilla's Plastic Beach. How the fuck could I forget that? That's honestly one of my favorite albums of all time. Uh, but, what was I, I was on the fence about getting, I ran out of money on my gift card, and I didn't want to charge my card, so, uh, they had Fall Out Boy's Mania for, like, eight bucks, and I was like, shit, that's fucking good, I might just have to take a fucking swing on that. I fuck with Mania, it's pretty good. It's different. Just, uh, what's the greeting? Uh, fart. Why not? You can't get much better than fart. Ha ha ha. <laughs> uh, but I'll probably poke around on there before I go and call it quits for tonight. Take a look around and see if I fucked up. Maybe change my order for a fourth time. <laughs> you never know. Uh, but anyways, I'm done wasting everybody's time. I'm good old fashioned cola. And hopefully I, this is not the last that you see of me. I'd like to... At least do Sundays again. That was nice. Waking up early, drinking some coffee, shooting the shit, buying some turnips, trying to flip them. You know, like the good old days. Uh, but anyways, I will see you guys back here, hopefully, someday. <laughs> I don't know. I don't make promises that I know I can't keep. Cortana taught me that in Halo 3.